What's good everybody? It's your girl Joanne Gray and I'm back today with another full wig review. And today's wig is from the Janet Collection. It is a black pearl wig. Her name is Gemma and she is in a Piano FS1B33 today. This is a super shorty do. And this cute lady right here, she could wear a paper bag on her head with ribbons and barrettes and come off as fierce and foxy as she wants to be. This particular wig did me no justice in the way that she was wearing it. It's super short, so to achieve a look where that hair is touching my eyebrows, I would have to pull the wig all the way down my face. As well, those little pieces that she has hanging there, I cut them off. The way this wig comes, it is a synthetic wig, has no combs, comes a little crunchy wig in, in the bag with little popcorn balls all over it that you have to find something to do with. Well, what I did was I sprayed her with a little bit of water after I put her on my head, used a little, um, you know, a little spray bottle and spritz the water, and then I started brushing vigorously those little curls, those little balls. They turned into curls in the back and they turned into waves in the front. What she did was she completely brushed all the waves forward and this hair at first glance and at a distance gives you the look of a really tight afro, just a real small afro. Um, the way she has it, when you look at it, it looks like an unprocessed hairdo. It looks like somebody has natural hair and that they combed it forward and you can see all the rakes look like she used one of those claw combs and just raked natural hair forward. Um, the way that I have it, and you can um, pull these waves forward. The way I have it, I chose to keep the hair back and I cut off those little wispy hair pieces around the side because what they are, once you comb out those popcorn balls and you brush it forward, you end up with just little, t to me, raggedy tail ends of what would be curls or waves. So I did it already, but I got in the mirror and I took all those wispy pieces and I cut bluntly across a little bit at a time and just snipped all the way around the wig. Now, I got this wig about three months ago and I wanted to show you this wig the day I got it because that's when I really got into the super shorty do's and I really just wanted to do something outstanding with the short hairdo. Well, I got it home and like I said, it was a little crunchy wig. I brushed and brushed and brushed. I did a video. Those little wispy hair pieces just looked like I had an afro with some straight pieces on the, on the tip of it. It was just awful. So I'm lying down last night and I hear Gemma. So I got up and got the Gemma wig and started working with her. And I think when I get inspiration like that, I need to bring my camera with me into the bathroom and start working while, um, you know, filming while I'm working because I think I go into a trance. I don't know what ends up happening, but then I come out with this new idea. So my inspiration became the Molly wig from It's a Wig, the short uh, cropped hairdo. I have not done a video on that yet, but that wig was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But the picture kind of shows the lady with the hair cropped close like this and almost bold um, scissor cut just like this blunt cut around and that it was it wasn't any hair to comb was the idea that I had for that Molly wig so because that wasn't the case you haven't seen Molly yet but the Gemma wig this is what I created again imagine my hair like hers and taking those scissors and just bluntly cutting all that off so that you have nothing really fringy hanging in your face. Then for flare what I decided to do was to break it up a little bit because it is all bluntly cut to the front. You can take the wig and twist it a little bit, pull it down a little bit and give it a little jagged look to it and then I just swept it over to the side I tapered up the sideburns by pulling the hair down because I think they were pretty long. And then just clipping straight up. Be mindful of your ears. 
same thing here and then just clip straight up with one swoop then these little pieces right here I just you know move them over to the side a little bit here it was a little longer I just cut a whole row of hair off and that's how I do it I just get in there and just clip into the wig like that until it's the shape you know that that I can deal with with my face shape now when you have shorty do's like this I like this one because it has texture to it and I'm going to go around for you too before I get carried away um, it has texture like say so you got a wave pattern in the front and then you got the hair that hugs the back of your neck so nicely I mean it's tapered so nicely to prevent that wiggy look to the back of your head you need to take these little straight pieces and just twist them and make sure that you touch every piece it just wakes it up and, and snaps it out of that little pressed together look and then you can move it okay the top of this hair is curly it's a little bit longer and it's densely curled nothing you can do to make these curls go away so it's nice and curly right there and then you take your straight hair and then you can run your fingers through it one way or the other with ease okay then you got the right this is the right side of my face and again I did the sideburns just cut them straight up what I could tuck behind my ears I kept and then the hair hugs the side of your neck nice this is a very snug fitting cap I have no hair under this cap so if you're going to wear a short wig like this and you have a lot of hair you have to wrap your hair down wrap it real tight and put a tight wig cap on there so that your hair is smooth so you don't have lumps in this wig and again I cut along the edge here and then I just started smoothing it over to the side now what these shorty do's like this who that it, it gives you an opportunity to see all your features it opens up your face so you can see your ears you see your jewelry you see your makeup eye makeup or full facial makeup and this just gives you an opportunity it, it brings people's eyes down to you like I could wear one of those mohawk wigs and everybody's attention is centered up here but when you have very short hair but it's groomed looking like this is groomed even though it comes off um, as an afro it is a very well put together afro but it is a textured it is a textured hairdo it's uh, but it does give off a non-processed look so it's almost like a natural look which is lovely and you don't have to do anything with it and the hair is perfect for the weather but again it opens up your face so you can see you and so people can see you too so get in on this Gemma wig I think it's lovely and I hope that the trials and tribulations that I've gone through and the tips that I've given you helps it so that you can have an easier time with this wig I say try it out I bought it for $19.99 at the beauty supply store it's a cute wig I'll find it for you online and put a link for it below the video but this concludes my review and I will be back later with another wig review God bless.